This is um, why um, I've always got a lot of photos of Kira laying on this settee. It's because my, my computer's here and uh, it's so easy just to put my camera around and uh, catch her there. Well, anyway, onto the film itself that I've just done over St. Mar St. Mary's Church. Oh, the old girl, she's got to get comfy. This is uh, just to prove that Kira does, <laughs> does get off that couch <laughs> at times, anyway. Because whatever photo I take, <laughs> old Kira indoors, she's always on the couch, but she does get off. Where is she now? Around the corner. Yeah. Yeah, that's Kira. <laughs> off the couch. Enjoying a walk over St Mary's Church. Unfortunately, I can let her uh, old Paddy off, but uh, he's uh, he's got a problem. He's such full of so full of energy that he just wants to run and run and run. He does come back because he does know where I am, but. Uh, He's a bit much for some, but there we are, Kira again, off the couch, and your Kira, 13 year old Kira, <laughs> and 12 year old Julian, <laughs> you're a good old girl Kira. On second thoughts I thought well uh, as I'm over here at uh, St Mary's Church I get a bit of film of this. I mainly seem to do Pisherberry Park, but this is St Mary's Church, um, or a little woodland really. There's designated paths all the way around it. It's closed in. The only place I can get out is through the bottom gate. But it's nice here. You get quite a few people over here, but fortunately, not really when I'm walking around here. I think they've heard about Paddy, I think. But it's a delightful setting and uh, it is a, a lot of tremendous walks near me but this is ideal Paddy likes it over here because I can let him off at certain times but let's go on and I'll uh, take a bit of film of the church itself This over here is, um, well, I don't really know what it is, but it's a, it's a drug company that does a lot of uh, drugs in there, plus other things. They swear blind that there's no dogs or animals kept in here for, for um, their own ends, I would say, experimentation, I would say. But, There we are. Well, I'm just going to walk across to the church now. It's, it's a funny old day. It's sunny in between the wind blowing and it gets a bit nippy. Things to come, I think. But this is, a, I mean, Kira laying down in the, the long grass now. This is um, one of the, the things that point you to her being 13. She takes a uh, a little rest every now and then. I give her time to recover, but she looks perfectly okay, and uh, she seems happy. Don't you, Kira? You're a happy old girl, really. Another view of um, the little woodland. But um, part of the plan, or part of um, giving permission to build this place over there pharmaceutical place is that they had to provide something for the local people to walk their dogs and to enjoy the um, well the wildlife here and so this is why we got it it doesn't actually belong to the council it doesn't actually belong to the people it belongs to the drug company but they look after it and put these 
um, paths in and uh, it gives us a nice little walk and a change of scenery and uh, it is nice and uh, there's a cloudy sky and there's some blue sky it's either going to rain because the last two times I've been out I've got soaked especially this morning and yesterday lunchtime but we'll walk down and uh, carry on around there was a squirrel there but <laughs> they all missed it although uh, Paddy I think can hear it he's always looking up at the trees but if he goes up the tree after it <laughs> he'll be to stop me being pulled up after him he's a strong old boy so let's get on and go around the corner the church for a bit of a distance and uh, there's a bit of beautiful um, horse chestnut tree there but like a lot of horse chestnuts uh, they've been attacked by disease so they've had to cut it back a bit but like the one near me that collapsed because it was hollow inside so is that one evidently I will get to the church in a minute <laughs> but I'm enjoying this walk round. I wasn't intending to do a video today but after a video in Kira and Paddy and Julian I thought I'd carry on and somebody made a comment on one of my videos they weren't long enough well <laughs> I'm glad you think so but uh, there is a lot to see in Arlo a lot of nice places and once you get videoing and doing these films so much pops up that you carry on doing it and just behind the trees over there is the old schoolhouse from uh, about the 1700s I can't get to it because uh, there's a fence and bushes everywhere but it looks nice when the sun's shining anyway well I'm at the church and this is a tree St Mary the Virgin Church of England the Methodist we get a bit closer. What I admire about these places like this, uh, when this was built somewhere, I suppose about 1300, 1400, the tools they had to build it was primitive compared to what they have now. And they can still come up with something like this. It's a beautiful building, a beautiful building. And, uh, well, you can only admire the people that have actually built it but it's a lovely church and a lovely area the only thing that spoils it of course is uh, <laughs> the pharmaceutical company with their buildings sticking up in the distance but well it, it just spoils it but then again concentrating on the church what could be more beautiful than that even though I don't go to church I can admire what these people did and uh, these old graves long gone uh, had a writing on there but uh, these must have been here several hundred years and there's that tree a very nice area well, I'll be walking down some steps in a minute, taking the film. I'm not really drunk, it's just that hard to get down. <laughs> this is a uh, walkway. Well, really, this is the main road that used to be. This used to be a nice little, uh, little old lane. And we come down to the posh houses. Well, posh. <laughs> really nice houses. Catherine's farmhouse. It's owned by John and his dog and buddy it's a nice place, I've been in there this really is a nice place mind you I've got one bit in bungalow, it's all right for money well we, we come around this bit there's a, a bit of green it's all uh, John's garden all over there Quite a nice little walk around here. I don't see many people at this time of the day, so it's quite a comfortable walk with your dogs. Although saying that, 
I do like meeting people and having a good chat. But then we're getting this bit, it's a bit dodgy here. There's steps <laughs> that go down. And covered in leaves, it's going to be even more dodgy than normal. But don't pull me down, pad. All right. Oh, Kira seems to get down here quite easy. But me? No. Oh. 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 Nearly at the bottom. There we are, down to the bottom. And uh, we're coming to the back of Church End here, one of the estates in Harlow, onto uh, Church End Pond. We'll be there soon. Oh, Kira knows where she's going. We'll go and let Paddy off the lead now. I wouldn't let him off round here. He travelled so quickly and for so far, he'd be in danger before he realised it. But anyway, this is a little stream that leads into Church End Pond. And the only trouble is, this time of year, he's covered with a great big layer of duckweed and what is a surprising thing is why it doesn't kill all the fish come next summer kids will be over here fishing and we'll catch fish but I always thought that with a covering like this no oxygen no light the fish wouldn't survive but obviously they do We come across a little bridge that takes the, takes the excess pond water away. And I'm glad they put this here, it's dangerous otherwise. Never used to be any fencing. But this is Church End Pond. Total green. Get lots of ducks on here because John feeds them. But uh, <laughs> how they survive under this, I do not know. few ducks over there which makes Paddy um, fascinated by the ducks and your pad fascinated by them ducks mate <laughs> it's rather deep water here isn't it? not really sure how deep it is but I'm not gonna walk in there and find out <coughs> One thing about today is uh, very mild and uh, although damp and the leaves have fallen off the trees, it's still a nice old walk. <coughs> what do you reckon, Pat? Go on. Uh. 
celebrating the 60th anniversary of Harlow, 1947 to 2007. There's quite a few of these dotted across Harlow. <coughs> but we won't be far away getting back to the car. It's a nice interesting walk for the dogs as well. And Paddy hasn't stopped sniffing. Poor Julian. We're very close to the main road, so... So this is it. This is a little woodland. Church End Pond. So... That's it for now. Bye! The gypsies also um, tether their horses over here. <coughs> and uh, they chomp away at the grass. It soon gets depleted. But a lot of people that live around there come and give them food themselves. Carrots and things like that. Because it's a horrible life for these uh, horses. <laughs> All weathers are here. And there's no real uh, shade and cover. I mean, we talk about greyhounds having a hard life, but these horses certainly do. It's such a shame. <laughs>